Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Freedom in the Word. I am Minister Sherry Knotts, and I have some of the most dynamic women in the land on God's green earth with me. I'm so honored <laughs> for this time that we have spent together, and we're going to wrap up our series when we're going to talk about what our legacy currently is and what we'd like for it to be. Ladies, take it away. Oh, wow. this is this is a tough one that she yes, that she's is. thrown on us. Uh, Bless God. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with what I would like for my legacy to be. I think for me, Whitney Sherelle Graham. What Come on, I look for my Good legacy name. to be is um, <laughs> for one for everybody to um, know that this was somebody who always put her her best foot forward was always a person that they can depend on. Like I spoke earlier, Minister Sherry called, and without a doubt, I hit her with the count me in. So I, I want to make sure that my legacy is one that they know they have stood on on the backs of very strong women, um, a grandmother of 12 children who, who did it all by herself, who each one of those 12, let it be known that they never felt like they was without anything. So for me, I think my legacy is going to be, now I'm not gonna say what I want it to be, it's going to be right. a, a very strong, um, persistent woman. I'm very passionate about what I wanna do. So like I said, it's, it's about, you know, I'm directed. This is what Whitney has in mind. So this is what's going to come into play. Um, so my legacy is, is gonna be one that people will continue to talk about for a while. All right. All right. My legacy, <clears throat> I would say, would be if when I leave this earth, since we're talking about full government names, <laughs> we don't know, everyone will know that Shantae Monique All right. Burke Hare was a, a young woman after God's own heart mm -hmm. who knew her calling was to serve his people mm -hmm. and that any anything she did, everything that she did, mm. she served him. Mm -hmm. she, she prayed did. about it mm. and she trusted in the Lord with all her heart mm. to make sure that whatever he said you are to do, you do it and it oh. comes to fruition. Okay. And so my legacy is that and I am and will continue to be someone who got the job done even when Christ had her back. Wow. No one else may have her back, but with God, I got everything that he needed done. It was done. Amen. Mm. This is a tough question um, that has been um, <laughs> given to us. <laughs> uh, so, but I will say that um, I, Cheryl Miles Robinson, All right. <laughs> would um, hope that my legacy Work, I'm working towards my legacy being one of that I have demonstrated to all who come in contact with, with me, and I feel a particular responsibility to my family um, to be a model of love, of God's love, to be a model of faith and trust, um, so that when it's all said and done for me, um, that I have pleased God in all that he has asked me to do whether it is as a mother, a wife, a writer, um, whatever it is, I want to close my eyes feeling and leaving the message, the legacy, that God is pleased with the effort that I have provided for him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I'm sitting here feeling the pressure the of all of those well laid statements, statements, right? <laughs> but the truth, truly my legacy is that I want everyone to understand through my model that Christ can deal with the imperfect, mm -hmm. Amen. the messed up, those who are not well laid in their speech as they're talking about this legacy statement, <laughs> that Christ can still use those of us who are trying to get it right even on stage. Right? All right, all right. Because that is truly what I'm about. Mm -hmm. If God can love me with all the stuff that I hide from you all or mm -hmm. all the stuff that you see, mm -hmm. some of you are a part of my Deacon Team 4. Mm -hmm. The imperfections. <laughs> Shout out. The, just the stuff that I don't get right and every day God gives me another chance. I need that to be an example for all of you who are still struggling to get it right and present as well as these ladies have. All right, though. <laughs> Yolanda Bonaparte <laughs> is my name. <laughs> Loving Christ and loving you is what I do. That was a and she approved this message. <laughs> and I approve this message. <laughs> oh. um, legacy. 
that means so many things. Um, mm -hmm. But most importantly to me, it means what is your calling in life? Mm -hmm. And what do you want to be remembered as? And so for me, um, I spent 25 years working with children and adults around education. Um, and I really felt like that was my calling in life. That's what I was placed here to do. Mm -hmm. And I had an unfortunate accident, which made it extremely difficult to continue in that vein. And so for a while I was very um, stifled and um, even going through a depression and trying to figure out what what was this that life had thrown me um but that's what i was supposed to do and so i began to really seek god and um get in his presence um before him not just on sunday or not just wednesday mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. but but just constantly seeking him to find out mm -hmm. because i was totally lost mm -hmm. What am I going to do now? What What's next? What am I supposed to do? Um, and so I really feel that he's placed me here to be a servant for people, to help wherever I can help. Um, that calling still remains. You know, that season of my life is, is um, no longer. But I still have responsibility as a mom and grandmother. Um, I'm still planting seeds with young people. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to be remembered for loving people and doing all that I can do for people. That life of service. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that was Natalie Marie <laughs> Rogers Lowe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Peter 5 and 7. Or it might be Peter 7 and 5. I, I don't know. Read the whole book of Peter. <laughs> in, in, in your leisure. And right. you will find these words. <laughs> he cares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whenever someone talks about Audrey when she's gone on, I hope it was revealed, my life was revealed to them as someone who cared. Mm -hmm. I care not your status. You deserve a hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. And that's how I have tried to perfect my life. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, I can say hello to you. Mm -hmm. um, be it my work as a realtor, be it my church work, be it my daily walk, I have cared. I have promoted you. I have tried to push you to the top. Mm -hmm. I have not spent time being jealous of you. Oh, stop it. Oh. My name is <laughs> Audrey E. Dina Henderson Wallace. Thank you. Oh. Notice how I went low on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so my legacy can't top anything that I have heard, and I can't tell you what I feel on the inside mm. after hearing everybody's legacy. So I'll sum it up. She saw, she came, she conquered. Mm -hmm. I pray that my children and my grand, my future grandchildren will think of me, look at my picture, visit my urn, <laughs> and say, she may not have done it perfect, but she did it with the perfect love. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, sums up our legacy the panel discussion thank you sherry uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you 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 and I can't say no more because y'all know I can keep crying. But <laughs> we give God all the glory yes. for what he has done. He for us. Thank you. Thank you. Are we Thank finished? you. Thank you.
thank you. That's the end. Thank you. And we pray. Thank you. And we pray. Would you like to do this? You can. I I wanted to say that um, when I say to someone, thank you. I know God did it, mm-hmm. but he's a God that gives us choices. He does. Yes. And how many times have we said, oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Yes. So yes. I thank you because you said yes mm-hmm. to what he showed you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. And, and thank you for bringing the group of people that you did, because just me sitting here, I look at how I'm connected to yes. all yes. Of these women, and now yes. connected yes. to yes. one who yes. I've just met, like you said, college, and then other ministries mm-hmm. that I've already been to and I walked into this not knowing who else is going to be here mm-hmm. too so like and that was on purpose I, I know <laughs> that, was, that was good so definitely uh, a thank you um, for that I, I can't thank y'all enough for saying yes because um, so now we can talk right she has to go back to work <laughs> she got her kids she came from a tennis match she has her husband and, and daughter she has her daughter is the, is the, is the camera woman and she has to take her daughter, granddaughter, to work. Yeah. Run all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but even in that, we all said yes. And that's important to be obedient to what God has called you to do. Yes. Yes. You have to be obedient. The word tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm-hmm. So we thank you so much for watching us every Friday. Um, we look forward to April. It's going to be our month. It's our celebratory one-year anniversary with me and Master Lani, and so we're going to do it big every Friday in April, as we have done it big every Friday in March. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made history here at Ebenezer. We are making history across the land because this is a hug, and we hope you feel the hug that we felt here in this room. In the meantime, I am Minister Sherry Knotts. Audrey Wallace. Natalie Lowe. Yolanda Reddick. Cheryl Robinson. Shante Burke Hare. And Whitney Graham. And we'll be talking to you soon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.